Now I will tell you one group of patients that I have seen that our devices will not work on. And that is, we have actually had patients that were in mental hospitals for some type of psychiatric illness. A lot of it bordered on narcissism. And what they would do, and I'll show you one little device. This little thing's called the TENS unit, T-E-N-S. This thing only does one thing. Has some wires coming, has some little stick on pads like when you get your heart checked. And electricity comes out of one tissue, one electrode, and goes to the other one. Now, if you had shoulder pain, you might have an electrode here. You might have an electrode here. The electricity comes out of one, goes to the other, and it basically flip-flops. All you're ever doing is cutting where the pain message is through this area, and you are closing down the pain message. Now, what that is comparable to, and I'm 62, so I, can, I remember parts of this. That's cheap. I know, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> but many years ago, when we first had telephone systems, you would have in a community, you may have only 10 outgoing lines. And so if you had 100 people in the community that had a telephone, there's no way to work. So you let 10 people talk, and then as soon as they finish talking, then if somebody else wants, you would let them on. There's only 10 lines. That's the way our spinal cord and our brain works with pain. It's called the Melzack wall gate control theory of pain. What it is, is in our spinal cord, pain is a beneficial sign. You better do something. Where pain becomes helpful is if you reach for a pot on the stove that's hot and you didn't know it, well, if you don't move your hand off of it, you're going to really cause some damage. So your body tells you the message goes up through the pain fiber to your spinal cord. It comes up to your brain. Your brain not only says, ow, the brain also instructs the motor nerves to fire and jerk your hand away. That's good. Problem with chronic pain, they're not touching a hot pan. But yet their brain is telling them they're hurting. So what happens when you stimulate for that type of thing? It's like those 10 lines telephone lines, and you got 12 people trying to get through. Two of them cannot get through. There's, physically, you can't do it. Now, if one of those 12 people says, wait a minute, there's a fire. Somebody's in the house. They will knock somebody off and let that message go through. What happens in our body is the C fiber. That's the fiber that carries the pain message. That fiber is constantly firing. When that message gets to our spinal cord, they call it Melzack Wall gate control theory. They open the gate so the message can go through. It comes up to our brain. We have pain. When you use electrotherapy, all you're really doing is making other messages like the touch, warmth, other things they call sensory nerves. We make those messages more important than that pain message that's trying to get up. When we put the machine on, a machine on, and you stimulate, all it's doing is closing the gate. The pain message, just like those phone calls that didn't get through, can't get through. If it can't get through, you cannot have pain. It is impossible to have pain. That is all you do with electrotherapy. Now, a normal, okay, now where I was going to tell you about where I've seen this not work was in a psychiatric hospital where you would have someone that wanted attention. And what would happen 
is you've seen it. You ask somebody, how do you feel today? And you better be ready for about a two-hour discussion about how you feel because that's what they would talk about. Well, in a psychiatric thing, if you would say the same thing to that patient, how are you doing? Well, you'll get such and such. When we would let them wear one of these, as long as it was exposed, the attention would, what is that thing on your, what are you wearing? What is this about? And it would divert their attention. It's still to them because it was closely worn. Divert attention here. And they would talk about this magic shock box. But it would only last for a few days as soon as the novelty of this had worn off, then the pain would come back.